Yeah. <laughs> I got a package in the mail today. See this? Where is it? Right here. And there's a story. Of course there's a story. I, uh, earlier in the year, was asked by a fellow who's been watching my YouTube channels whether or not, <laughs> whether or not the crystals that I've been collecting fluoresce. <laughs> I, mean, I have no idea. I had a crappy little light. Let me show you my UV light that I was using. There it is there. And it's long wave. I didn't know how they'd fluoresce under short wave or medium wave. But some of the sites, there is talk that the rocks should fluoresce. So I said, you know, what I'll do is I'll send you a few of the crystals because you're obviously passionate about it. And you can tell me whether or not they're any good, you know, fluorescing. And he said, once he got them, they were mildly fluorescing. And we've been corresponding a little bit since. Now, let's go back to the package. Let's go back to the package. And I'll continue yakking. What? Ha! <laughs> Look at all this stuff. And it's heavy. Nice. So, so anyway, uh, he kept me interested in fluorescing rocks. Uh, it was actually his recommendation that I get the uh, the way too cool. He actually told me a couple of different brands, but once I, I took a look at it, I realized I wanted to go with the way too cool, which has. And I got hold of the guy that was selling it and said, "I, I need I need advice." He, and his best advice was, at the very least, get something with UVA and UVC. But uh, if you really want to get into this, make sure you also get UVB. So medium, short, and long wave UV. So that's what I got. So, continuing the story, I'm wrapping my package. Is once I got my, my UV light, He basically was able to tell me that oh look at this strongest shortwave what I will do is put his website in the uh, down below in this video in case anyone wants to see more of what he's doing look at this Princess Pat Mine, Atlanta, California. Look at that rock. So, what I'm going to do is take his notes, unpack his rocks, I'll show you the rocks in the daylight, and then I'll show you his rocks once it gets dark. I am so excited because what he said he was sending me was rocks that really fluoresce well. And I'm excited. Hope you are. Okay, so my chickens are loose. See that up there? Nobody wants to see that. Nobody likes chicken videos. What he was able to tell me was the rocks that I was originally looking at just from my collection, my garden, although they fluoresced, weren't as good as they can be. Which is why he sent me these samples. Let's look. This is just so cool. This is the power of, of uh, YouTube. People with uh, the same interests from different countries and you know he's he's out in California here I am in Ontario long way away from each other and we can connect that's an interesting rock so he says multiple generations of calcite 
from the Helvita mine in Helvita, Arizona. And so I actually now have some rocks from California and Arizona. This is Shelate from the Atona Mining District in California. Look at that. I like these rocks just just because they're, they're nice. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that crystal. And that is Hanksite from Searles Lake, California. Wow. <laughs> I'm like a... Look at the crystal up in there. Isn't that beautiful? I am like a kid on Christmas Day. Now these ones, he wrapped in plastic. Let's uh, let's take one out because they're not supposed to get wet. What's that with gremlins? Don't feed the gremlins. Don't get these ones wet. Look at that. Look at that crystal. Beautiful. <laughs> and I got three of them. And that is some Searles Lake. Okay. Oh, we haven't looked at this one yet, or have we? Ah, if we haven't looked at it, we'll look at it again. Yeah, we looked at that one. Okay, that's the first one I opened up. Nice, nice. And then, Look at that. What a beauty. What a beauty. So thank you very much to Raymond Wu from California. And what I will do is have this prepared for this evening. When the sun goes down, we'll fluoresce these rocks. So looking forward to it. All right, see you in a few hours. Okay, so it's dark out, finally. And I get to see what these rocks do. So there's the first one. Let's go put the UV light on. Start with UVA. And let's do UVC. There we go. Nice. Okay. Next up, I think you're gonna like this. I just spotted that it actually with my light even off, fluoresces after it's been activated by the UV. There's UVA, UVB, and look at UVC. Oh, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Now I'm going to turn my lamp off after charging it. Isn't that cool? I love it. Let's do this rock. UV 
VA. UVB. And look at UVC. Oh, man. Lovely, 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 lovely. Next up, let's try that. There's A. B. C. Huh. B that nice orange and look at C oh man what <laughs> I love it alright Beautiful crystal in here and then the outriders. Let's take a look. A. B. And there's C. B. That's neat. Look at that. Let's go to C. <laughs> nice. Oh, it still holds this. Okay. Let's charge it up. I'm going to put all three on it. A, B, C. Okay, and off. Cool. Super cool. I didn't do these in any particular order. We'll do this crystal. Even if it doesn't glow, I like it. I like it a lot. There's A. There's B. And there's C. So, if they're all pooled together, Let's look at them down here. See that? Isn't that cool? Wow. 
Let's put all three lights on. See if that does anything. There we go. It's better with the A turned off. So that is B and C. There is C only. And there is B only. So the UVC or shortwave seems to be the best. Well, thanks for watching. That's everything turned off. Cool.